Let me tell you, judgment begins in the house of God. That's right, amen. But also the restoration of America begins in the house of God. That's right. Let me tell you what I am hearing from the Lord. We are going to see in America a dual revival. A parallel revival. We are going to see a spiritual revival in tandem with a political revival. Both together to restore America to the greatness that our forefathers gave us. You see, we have missed it for millennia. The model for government, and this is a man-made model, has always been authority flows from God to the government to the people. This is not God's model, it's the man's model. But you see the framers when they were on their knees seeking revelation from above. And I believe the Constitution of the United States and the Declaration of Independence are the two greatest documents that have ever been written outside of the Bible because they were written by revelation from God. And God gave the framers a totally different model. No longer authority flows from God to the government to the people, but rather authority flows from God to the people to the government. Amen. From God to the people to the government. You see, it is not coincidental that the first three words in the Constitution are with the people. God gave the framers a model where all authority is upon we the people. And with that authority comes an awesome responsibility Amen. to elect righteous leaders. Proverbs 29 2 says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked rule, people mourn. Well, if the righteous are not running for office, if the righteous are not even voting what is left, the wicked electing the wicked. And we get what we deserve. This is a call to action. Each and every one of us, if the church of God, if the church that exalts Jesus Christ will stand in the gap, we will see America restored to that shining city on a hill to the glory of God.